Hello, this is Yann Camus of Gliss Climbing. This video comparing the different love devices I've been requested, so here it is. Today I want to show you three love devices by Taz that I've used throughout the years. So this one is the Love 2, this one is the Love 3, the initial one, and most recently there have been few minor changes and this is the love 3 the most current whoa whoa stop the press i got the new love 2 the love 2 is not something of the past taz is producing both some love 2s and some love 3s because the users can want one or the other and They've updated the Love 2. The new Love 2 has the five grooves that prove to be nicer to your ropes. Um, and it also has a single big hole here, like you see, will see on the Love 3, and a small hole here. And funny enough, my Love 2 is very recent but the rubber cleat was sticking in the open position and here is how I dealt with it. Uh, I tried to modify it and it worked really good. So the Love 2 is a regular the opening device like you would see the Grigri uh, with two plates that have holes that are normal. So you have, in order to put it on your harness, you have to remove the carabiner, open the device, put the rope in, close the device, put the carabiner back on the device. Okay, and that closes the device and there's nothing more to it. The Love 3, it has a notch in one of the two plates. So basically there's also a button that you have to depress in order to flip the device open. Otherwise, when you close it, this button positively closes the device and it's impossible to open it. Some people will fear that it can open during use at some point. I've never seen that happen. I don't have too much stress on this matter. It could happen, uh, so some people might like the Love 2 better, but for me, I would always go with the Love 3. There's, there's something else is, with that notch here in the Love 3, I found that there's more connectors that can have not so good behavior. So you have to look at my other videos with the Love 3 and different connectors. Uh, one of the connectors I like the best is for sure the Petzel Omni Triact Lock. A really good connector for the Love 3. Now between the Love 2 and the Love 3, I have done some pull tests um, of the static type. So I just pulled very hard on the Love 2 with a 9.8 dynamic rope. It's a mammoth tusk and the sheath uh, cut at 6.64 and I've done another one. So the Love 2 cuts the sheath 6.64 and 6.87 kilonewtons. So uh, a lot of the devices out there have this kind of behavior with very high forces. It can damage the rope in that sort. So no part of the core was damaged. Um, so that was really good, uh, and but the Love 3, uh, I think it's better and has confirmed that it has made very very subtle changes in the cam and now the Love 3 slips at 5.0 kilonewtons, so that's, that's a very good difference if you're looking between the Love 2 and the Love 3. The other things are really minor. Uh, there's a, you know, a little hole in the Love 3 up there where you have a big hole in the Love 2, but 
I'm you know passing a very tiny cord you can use uh, any device with uh, any connector if you want to do weird stuff with them um, there's very little changes uh, otherwise uh, that I want to talk about here um, now there's one thing that I thought was a feature but it ended up to be uh, just there by kind of mistake is in the love devices you have a plastic cleat that creates some friction on the rope to initiate the locking mechanism so very clever works really well in the original love 3 you could just push open this plastic cleat and it stays open it's not a feature uh, it's a little bit more dangerous if that happens then the love can slide more on the rope before it rotates and catches on the rope I think for some uses it can be a very advanced uh, feature but it's not there anymore on the new love 3 where with very thick ropes and very special uses you don't want this friction uh, and so you can disable the plastic cleat it's at your risks because uh, yeah the device is not designed to do that but it it has proven useful for me and so if you look at the new love 3 the plastic cleat if you look it cannot stay open because it's been cut at an angle uh, so yeah I love the love 3 a lot for top rope solo and I think uh, it's one device that was adopted by the top rope solo community really quickly so incredible device for that uh, and it can be good for lead rope solo uh, it's a the learning curve might be a little bit more than with other devices I suggest you look into my online courses see the link in the description if you want to explore that option uh, it can be great I've led uh, some very hard stuff for me with that device feeling really confident on lead rope solo uh, but yeah I did not choose the love for El Capitan uh, rope solo so yeah it's for some special projects maybe and depending on what are your projects it could be the good device for you and especially my system is really good for multi-pitch because the transition from top rope solo to lead rope solo is very very cool check that out and by the way if anyone wants a love 3 or a love 2 in America I'll try to post some links in the description so you can get it and also you can see the link directly to Taz in France to get any of their device directly from them. I hope you like this episode about the love. Go see my website blissclimbing.com and please push the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.